hi guys welcome to this tutorial series on design pattern in this video I am discussing about singleton design pattern in detail so I have created this singleton class so using this class I will discuss different ways in which we can create singleton class how we can break it how we can prevent prevent it and what is the real world use of singleton pattern so as we know singleton pattern is very famous and it is used in many places in java so we uh, we have lots of advantages using singleton pattern so so the singleton class is a class which contains single object and not let anyone to create second object of class so it always returns single object so that's what is singleton class so if the client request for instance from the singleton class it always returns same object it won't let anyone create new object of the class there are different ways in which we can singleton we can create singleton class we have eager initialization static block lazy initialization multi-threaded way double check and enum so let's cover all these ways one by one and then we'll discuss advantage and disadvantage of using these ways so to create a singleton class the first step is to make default constructor as private so let's do that do that private singleton so we do that because we don't want to access this constructor outside this class such that no one can create the object no one can access this constructor and create the object of this class so that's why we make it private so so to do the eager initialization of singleton class we need to create the instance whenever we declare it so let's do that so it should be static singleton new singleton okay so that's the eager initialization so this is the easiest way to create singleton class and it's thread safe also so the second way is static block so using static block also we can create singleton class so let's do that use the try catch block also Okay, exception E spin the stack trace. Yep. Let's move it here. So these are the two ways of creating singleton class. The static way of creating singleton cl class is also fine. Whenever the class is loaded, it will create the, this instance. So there are some disadvantages using these two ways. Is uh, it is actually the wastage of memory um, because suppose if no one will use this singleton class in the project so even this class is not used anywhere this object is still created for this class and that will wastage the memory so that is same with the static block also so to avoid it we can use the third way which is lazy initialization so lazy initialization mean we get will return the object whenever it is requested so let's do that so let's make it null so to do that we need to create a static function public static let's return the single uh, instance singleton and Let's give a name as get single get instance and here we need to use the condition first we need to check for the null so if it is null then return new singleton otherwise return the same instance so now the single the object will be provided whenever it is requested so whenever the client uh, call this function at the first time it it check for the null value so the first time it is null right 
so it check for the null and then it return the singleton it create the new instance of this class and then it return it so whenever second time this function will be called it check for the null value in the second time it is not null so it return this one so it means the same instance is returned every time so this line of code will works so we have covered three types in which we can create singleton class eager initialization static block and lazy initialization so now there is a disadvantage uh, using uh, this code uh, like it's not thread safe if you see this particular code is not thread safe when multiple thread want to access this function there might be the chance that new instance the second instance will be created for this class so that will break the singleton pattern so to avoid it we can make it thread safe so to do that we need to use synchronize so now it is thread safe and only the same instance will be returned the second instance will not be created by multi multiple threads and so but still this line of this function uh, the this code that we have written is not that uh, that much relevant because we are using synchronize at the function level it means the lock is provided at the function level so we should not do that so to make it more relevant uh, we can use synchronize keyword here and we can use the lock for the class level and just put this condition inside this block so now now it is thread safe now this uh, logic looks fine uh, but still if we see this function we make it thread safe and that is our fourth way of creating singleton class and it works but uh, th this is not the actually the efficient way of uh, writing this code because again if you see uh, let's suppose we have two threads come to this function let's say we have t1 and two, t2 t1 and t2 comes into this function so t1 when t1 access this function it comes to this block at the first time it check for the single it, it get the lock and then it call this line of code and it returns from this function so when t2 comes it again get the lock it check for the condition so now the second time this condition is false it come from this uh, this synchronized block and then it return this one so and so here whenever the first time the object is created to us we don't have to again come to this synchronized block then uh, the t2 thread won't have to come to this synchronized block because the object is already created for us so to do to do that we can use double check so we have double check locking that is our fifth way of creating singleton pattern so double check will check for the null value so it check if this instance is null so at the first level of this function is check for null value so then if it is null then we have to execute this line of code so now now let's say we have two thread t1 and t2 t1 come to this function it check if it is null then it come it get the lock it come here if again check if it is null and then it return it it create the new object when t2 comes it check it first time check if it is null then it will it won't have to come to this block it directly return this instance so this is the perfect way of using multi-threaded way to create singleton pattern that is double check locking so this is fun these are the different way in which we can create singleton class now the last way is using enum 
so we can create a singleton enum and we can create an instance here so using enum we don't have to worry about creating singleton class and worry about multi-threading and all these things we can create a single enum and then we can uh, create a single instance of the enum and then we can return it so that is cool we can use enum also so now uh, these are the different way of creating singleton pattern uh, singleton class now uh, let's break it so to break it we have some approach like we can use reflection clone in serialization so you know using reflection we can access the even the private constructor of the class so we have we have created a private constructor to prevent singleton pattern right but using reflection we can access even the private constructor and we can uh, create the object so to and also using clone clone will create the new instance when whenever we use object or clone it return the new instance so that that is the second way in which the singleton pattern can be broken down and serialization also so serialization when during the serialization it create the instance of the object so so to, to prevent all these approach let's first prevent the reflection so so reflection will call our private constructor so what we can do is we can throw the exception from the private constructor so we can throw new exception and just write a message can't create second instance of singleton class okay so using the reflection also now this class is secure and this private constant won't be accessed now the second way is uh, that is clonable so let's implement the clonable interface implements clonable okay and let's override the clone method public object clone so since clone will create a new instance so we can directly return this function from the clone method let's run this try catch Okay, let's return it. So now using clone also nobody can create the new instance of this class because we have returned the same function get instance uh, from the clone method also. So the third way is serialization. So to prevent serialization we have read resolve method so we can use it so during the serialization it call read resolve method and uh, from there it returned a new instance so from there from read resolve also we can override re resolve and then we can return the same object of this class so let's do it so that is public object read resolve and let's write the same code here so we need to implement serializable interface okay 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 so now using serializations serialization also this class is secured so using serialization also nobody create the second instance of this class so these are the 
different ways in which uh, we can prevent and uh, we can create the singleton class so let's now talk about the use of the singleton uh, singleton pattern so it is actually we can use singleton pattern in multiple places uh, like logging so whenever you use a logger you use singleton pattern for the logger class you can also use singleton in case it is not singleton uh, if logger is not singleton every client will have its own logger object and there will be concurrent access on logger instance in multi-threaded environment and multiple client will create write to the log file concurrently and this leads to data corruption so uh, logger is the best example we can use uh, logger class as a singleton class such that it is thread safe and in uh, nobody can create the second instance of the logger class so also a singleton pattern is generally useful when uh, the object that are created once and shared across different thread application so it's not the logger there are different uh, requirements of the uh, it depends on the requirement of the application but generally when we want to make thread safe any object as a thread safe so we can use singleton pattern there or uh, let's suppose in, in java also we have runtime class as a singleton class uh, in java dot, that is in java dot lang dot runtime so it is a singleton class so uh, these are the different ways we where we can create singleton pattern and uh, we can prevent it so that's all for this video in next video i will be discussing about the factory design design pattern in detailed discussion and that's all for this video thanks for watching bye bye